30 years, a journey of growth and wisdom where dreams unfurled and possibilities emerge. 30th birthday, may this milestone ignite my spirit to embrace the adventures ahead and celebrate the beautiful tapestry of life I've woven so far. Hi everyone, I'm in Malaysia right now, specifically in Kuala Lumpur. What I'm about to show you is this amazing Kuala Lumpur and I'm going to focus on the Chinatown area where I started filming. This is my day two here. We are staying in Bukit Bintang on the first day, then move to this beautiful area of Kuala Lumpur. See it for yourself. I love to travel the world and share it with you, especially my experience throughout this journey. Buckled up and join me as I travel the world. Sass Travel Blog is spotted in Malaysia for her 30th birthday trip. Welcome to Chinatown, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Lively, colorful Chinatown is centered on Pitaling Street, known for its fashion shops and a large covered market with produce, clothes, and accessories. Local artists sell paintings and crafts at nearby Central Market, where stalls also dish up noodles and curry. Places of worship in the area include the Toys Guan Di Temple and the 90th Sri Mahamaryanman Temple with a facade of covered Hindu deities. Is Chinatown Kuala Lumpur worth visiting? It's an absolute must-visit place if you have only two days in Kuala Lumpur. There is no shortage of things to do in Chinatown Kuala Lumpur. From shopping at Pitaling Street Market to sampling delicious local dishes, visiting Chinese temples, mosques, and Hindu temples, or hunting for street art. What is Chinatown in Malaysia known for? A dozens of vendors gather daily to sell imitation designer clothing and handbags, electronics, souvenirs, fruit, vegetables, and spices, and every form of knick-knack imaginable. Why should tourists visit Chinatown? 
It is one of the Malaysia's most popular tourist destinations known for its Chinese heritage, traditional architecture, delicious cuisine, and bustling street markets. Instead of looking for a shopping mall there, pay attention to the street hawkers. Chinatown in Kuala Lumpur is our favorite area of the city. Yes, it might be grimy in places and overcrowded at times, but the mix of an always buzzing tourist atmosphere and Kuala Lumpur local life make it an appealing area to visit or stay. Bustling markets, street kitchens, and old architecture are what makes these streets so appealing and there are plenty of things to do in Chinatown, Kuala Lumpur to warrant multiple visits. Chinatown is going through a period of change with new trendy cafes and eateries popping up every month and some of the old Chinese buildings being renovated and turned into modern, clean hotels. However, there are still holes to charm it's always had and offers some of the cheapest food and accommodations in the city. Vitaling Street Market The epicenter of Kuala Lumpur's Chinatown is the always bustling Vitaling Street, a long undercover market full of tourist stuff for sale such as fake designer watches, fake designer bags, jewelry, shoes, belts, hats, toys, mobile phone cases, and anything else the local thinks a visitor to Malaysia might want to buy. The goods might not be of interest to everyone, but it's still a fun place to wander for the first time a visitor to Kuala Lumpur. The atmosphere is chaotic yet entertaining with the shouts from stale holders to Chinese dragons often seen dancing up and down the narrow streets. You should also come for the food. There is a lot of it on offer in and around Pitaling Street Market. Steamed dumplings, chicken flaw sandwiches, deep fried chicken feet, Chinese buns, coconut pancakes, stir fries, freshly cut fruit, you name it, they've got it all. If you prefer your markets less hectic, cleaner, and with better quality goods, then Kuala Lumpur's Central Market might be the better option. What was once an old wet market is now a cultural heritage site with a restored art deco facade offering shopping, eateries, and outdoor stage. Spending time in Central Market is one of our favorite things to do in Chinatown, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia.
Many of the shops inside have a boutique feel to them and is generally a pleasant place to wander. Even if you do not plan on buying anything, the market also houses Malaysia's most popular coffee shop chain, Old Town White Coffee. The coffee shop offers extremely cheap coffee and tastes like no other coffee we have tasted. It's very delicious. Castori Walk The central market spells onto the pedestrian street beside the main building known as Castori Walk. This covered street has more stalls selling fashion accessories, crafts, souvenirs, and a great selection of street food and drinks. Some of the street food kitchens are housed inside cute matching mini caravans where tasty local delicacies such as nasi limak, chicken curries, banana fritters, and iced coffee sweetened with condensed milk can be enjoyed while people watch it. Central Market Food Court One of the many things we love about Southeast Asia is the food courts often found in shopping malls and other busy places. They're a great place to eat local food at almost street food prices but in a cleaner environment. The food court on the top level of Kuala Lumpur Central Market is no exception and should be one of your top things to do in Chinatown, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. In our opinion, the best time to visit Chinatown in Kuala Lumpur, especially the Pitali Street Market, is from the late afternoon. This is when everything is open, is at its busiest and the street sides fill with tables and chairs for diners to enjoy a Chinese meal cooked in Alfreso kitchen. If you only have time to do one of the items on the list of things to do in Chinatown, Kuala Lumpur, then make it this one. The area with the highest concentration of street food is along the section of Jalan Sultan, which runs north to south. Some of the kitchens specialize in just one dish, while others offer a full-on restaurant-sized menu with all the usual Chinese dishes you'd expect. Choose wisely though, as some of the kitchens cramped down the dark and dirty alley don't look too inviting to the western eye.
There are of course plenty of establishments in Chinatown offering tasty Chinese Malaysian food but eating at one of the oldest restaurants in the city has to be on everyone's list of things to do in Chinatown, Kuala Lumpur. The old yet charming Old China Cafe decorates its walls with Chinese paintings, historic photography and large mirrors while diners eat around classic marble top tables seen all over Malaysia. Spicy food just as the devil curry chicken is the most popular choice at this cafe. But there are plenty of less spicy options, including their delicious beef rendang. Are you feeling hungry yet? Check out their menu on the website or check out also in Facebook page. While Chinatown in Kuala Lumpur might not be as well preserved and resorted as other historic neighborhoods in Malaysia such as Georgetown and Ipoh, it's still important to admire the architecture here. Amongst the large shop signs, never-ending market stalls and ugly modern hotels are old colorful Chinese shop houses dating back from the 1800s. That's it for today. I hope you appreciate this video that I made just for you all. I hope I will see you again in my next video to be uploaded so soon, the continuation of my Malaysian trip. Before you go, please consider hitting the like button and click subscribe. It is the only small favor I ask for you all in order for me to continue having this channel and appreciate the effort that I did. Thank you very much. Sestrable Blogs, live in Malaysia.